It all started, uh, as you know, my company sponsors the boat race is the third year. So last year I was asked to uh, do something here to internationalize our sponsorship. So we sponsored the Oxbridge Boat Club dinner. And that's when I met Yao Chong, who then told me 18 years ago, he organized as part of the British Council's 50th celebration, a little sprint down uh, Singapore River. We had a bit of a boat race ourselves. Cambridge won that night, but I challenged him to do this this year. And uh, fortunately, my company decided they would sponsor and back us for this, so, uh, so we're here. It represents the fact that Singapore recognizes excellence, and both Oxford and Cambridge represent excellence. The Oxbridge boat race is world-renowned, world-famous. I think it's fantastic, really good, and I hope it goes from strength to strength. We've been practicing, not, not hard though, but <laughs> just mildly. Yeah, yeah. I guess the big problem is that all of us are working so hard in, during the week and all over the place. It's been quite hard to get together, but we've tried, tried it a couple of weekends. We, for the last couple of weekends, we've managed to get a full crew out, which yeah. has been and it great. Was great. Yeah. great yeah. We have been training for the past two months. Very, very hard, yeah. Every Saturday on the water. <laughs> Can you not tell? I mean, like, you're so ripped. Yeah, yeah, look at, yeah, look, yeah. Yeah. look at Tim right here. <laughs> yeah. Oxford! I row for the team ASBO, which is any school but Oxbridge. Well, hopefully we'll win, um, but I think it's just a good team building thing and getting to know everyone. It's more a social event than anything because the race is social and you get to know everyone else who is participating in rowing in that day. I promise to be a completely unbiased and impartial umpire, but in my heart I'll be rooting for Cambridge. Well, as you can see, I'm wearing dark blue, so I'm an Oxonian. Um, but uh, I shall try and be bipartisan. <laughs> I'm supporting Oxford. <laughs> but uh, I always have a sneaking regard. Since when I was young and my elder brother was running for Cambridge, I supported Cambridge. <laughs> yes, of course, Cambridge is the best team. I hope will win the women's race and the men's race. Attention! Ready! Row! <laughs> Good fun, some good sporting achievement. The guys on the boat have a laugh, and the girls as well. And the spectators maybe to have a glass of uh, the sponsor champagne. Beautiful setting, and you see some of the other wonderful facets of our cityscape. Rowing teaches you something about discipline and commitment. There are no shortcuts. Um, there's no kind of way that you can win through luck or fluke. Um, it really does come down to training and commitment and working together as a team, which I think is something that always stays with you. This is the ultimate team sport, and timing and everything is, is key. So you've got to really you know, be in tune with each other and feel each other's movements. We have some very experienced rowers. We've also got novices, and that's what's really heartening about the cruise uh, today. To me, that's what you know, sporting and particularly rowing activity is all about. So participation and, and just having fun. <laughs> uh, I went on the river as a cox for a few times. Then somehow uh, in my law class I was told that the cox was nominally the captain of the boat and therefore if there was an injury uh, he was actually the, per the first one responsible 
uh, after which I think I gave up my coxing duties. And I came here, missed the boat race at home, but found a very good boat race going on here, or several boat races with the, with the women's race, which of course it's the first time in back at home that the women's race has equal status with the men. It's quite amazing when I think that it's taken 15 years since my boat race experience for us to get to a point where there is now finally sponsorship and equal recognition of the women's race. We didn't have a boathouse, our boats were stored outside on the bank by the river. We didn't have changing facilities, we got changed outside and this is the UK in the middle of winter, you're getting changed in a public car park. It's really great that they're doing the ladies race the same day as the men's this year. But I guess it took like Helen Morrissey from Newton Asset Management to actually kind of, you know, step in and say, look, we're not gonna sponsor it unless you do that. So it's, it's great. It's a huge moment for women's sport as well as just for women's rowing. It's absolutely fantastic. It sort of gives me goosebumps thinking about it. <laughs>
right, we're not gonna flip. It's very tough to flip an egg. Possible, but very tough. It's all right, guys, it's all right. Whoa, strokes down, strokes. Cloudy sounds production.